Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Channel 6 Action Puns. I'm your host, Gavin Cohen. And I'm your hostess, Twinkie. And here are today's top stories. Last Friday, a large meteor impacted in Russia. It was the largest meteor to hit Earth in the last century, with estimates of a 49-foot diameter and a weight of about 10,000 tons. The meteor exploded in the air, and the explosion and impact caused a large shockwave through the Ural mountain range and nearby city. About 1,500 people were injured from the meteor, mostly from broken glass. Luckily, there have been no reported deaths, and only 46 remain hospitalized. This meteor was completely unrelated to an even bigger asteroid that passed by the Earth the same day. Why can't a bicycle stand on its own? Because it's too tired. That's why the Santa Barbara Police Department has decided to buy electric-powered trikes instead of segways for beat coordinators and officers patrolling the downtown and waterfront corridors. The electric models cost between $1,300 and $2,300 each and can go a top speed of 16 miles per hour. That's one mile per hour faster than the average human running speed. Hey, Gavin. Yes, Mary? What's the difference between a well-dressed man on a bicycle and a poorly-dressed man on a tricycle? I don't know, Mary. What is it? A tire. Let's take it on over to Counselor's Corner. Hi, I'm Izzy, and this is Counselor's Corner. Grades are due at 3 p.m. Tuesday, February 26th. March 12th and 13th, all sophomores are taking the KC, so be ready for that. February 21st, Elena's cons students are going to Carpentria for a field trip. So if you're in that class, keep that in mind. Wait, I'm Izzy, and this is, wait, does he hate this has been counselor's corner? I'll just sit back to you in the studio, that's better. Hey Mary. Yes? Why did Russia take so long to recover from World War II? I don't know, Gavin, tell me. Because it kept stalling around. Ha! Let's take it on over to Political Corner. Welcome to Political Corner. This past Wednesday, President Obama had his first State of the Union of his second term, in which he introduced aggressive liberal policies such as raising the minimum wage and creating a new immigration program that includes easier paths for immigrants to obtain green cards and eventually obtain citizenship. This is achieved partly by enhanced border crossings and 140 new immigration judges. In a reach across the aisle, he also welcomed entitlement reform as outlined by a bipartisan simpson bowles plan. However, Obama's performance was completely overshadowed by Marco Rubio's invigorating Republican Party response to the State of the Union, where he reiterated the Republican Party's staunch opposition to President Obama's handling of the looming sequester. Also, in the most memorable moment of the night, he frantically flailed for a small water bottle off screen. In the short time that I've been here in Washington, Nothing has frustrated me more than false choices like the one the president laid out tonight. That's all for up. Political corner. Back to you in the studio. Hey, Gavin. Yeah, Mary? Don't skip school to bungee jump. You'll get suspended. ASB. Well, I love the movies. Welcome to the biggest movie event of the year. Yeah, yeah. We're going to have a great night, ladies and gentlemen. And the Oscar goes and the to... Oscar goes to... This year has been an outstanding year for charity. We've had pennies for patients, which would have worked better if it was called hundreds for patients. <laughs> if I had a penny for every time I heard that joke, I'd have more money than the charity. And how about the prescription glasses drive? We donated a substantial amount of glasses to the less fortunate. Looks like Tommy Lee Jones wasn't wearing glasses when he picked out that outfit. And don't forget, there's an interest meeting for ASB, February 27th for exec. I hope Brandon Fraser didn't show up for that. And the winner is... ASB. Hey Mary. Yes? Why did you fail your online math class? There were too many ads. Commercials. Hello, my name is Edgar Lara. I'm Esteban Torres, president of SBC. 
SBC meets every single Thursday from 3 to 5 after school. SBC is a bike club here on campus where kids could go out and fix out either their own bikes or help out fix bikes for the community. Lacrosse Club meets every Thursday at lunch down at the field. Sticks and balls are provided and a coach will be there to explain the rules. Boys and girls are welcome, so you should come down and try it out. Hey, how do I know if I qualified for the NHS and CSF? It's right there. Oh, did you look at that? A list of qualified students will be posted in the main hall on the 25th. If you see your name on the list, be sure to go get a form from the counselor's office and fill it out. It's two fifty per membership, and make sure you pay your dues for what you get into. Welcome to this week's faculty pronunciation manual. This week's faculty member is Mr. Jill. Mr. Jill. Thank you. You know, Gavin, the other day I was wondering why the baseball was getting so big. And then it hit me. Sports. Hello, Santa Barbara High. I'm Jason. And I'm Elizabeth, and this is this week's Sports Report. Boys basketball took a tough loss to Beverly Hills in the first round of CIA. Check out this clip. Jello Beats, holla at me. Congratulations on being city and league champs this season, boys. You are amazing. Girls soccer also took a tough loss in the first one of CIF, losing 3-1. The girls are really hard. Way to put girls soccer back on the map. Great season, girls. Here's a clip of the last game. Waterpolo was killing it in CIF with the win in the first round 13 to 1 and then beating Irvine in the second round 13 to 4. Here's a clip of that game.
They played Newport Beach in the final score was 8-6. Sadly, they took a loss, which knocks them out of playoff contention. Congrats on a great run deep in the playoff, girls. Shout out to all the seniors on that team. You all had an amazing season, and good luck at the colleges that you are going to. Good luck, girls. Boys soccer won its first round of CIF beating Fountain Valley 1-0. Here's a clip of the game. They play Riverside Poly and beat them 1-0 with a goal by Pepe Barones. They are in the quarterfinals today at 5 at San Clemente. So wish them luck if you see them in the Hawks. Good luck, boys! Good luck, boys. Girls basketball had two huge wins to debut their playoff appearance, beating Antelope Valley 60-40 and beating Palos Verdes 59-56. Check out this clip. Ibiza. Give me the groove, I'm a party till I black out and wake up in Cancun If I be in Seattle, land in next move, I'll be having a fall over I'm not the truth They played a Tascadero and the score was 66 to 47. Great job, girls. Keep up the amazing work. They play tomorrow at Calabasas. Please wish them good luck in the hallways because they need all the support they can get. Good luck, girls. That's it for this week's sports report. I'm Jason. And I'm Elizabeth. Back to you in the studio. I'm glad I know sign language because it's pretty handy. It's day 37. I've given up looking for my crew. I need to find food, but I'm not sure. It's a miracle. I'll need to store this for later. Anyways, I need to use all the techniques I've taught you. I need to look for water in the watering holes. I need to fish in the streams and eat it raw like I have. And most of all, I need to find shelter like this dumpster. I think I can do it. Thank <laughs> you.